okay in this lecture i will explain you the second technique which is pwm okay pulse width modulation so first of all like we did it in uh, we did it in uh, pam generation and demodulation so in this we will do the generation of pwm first how to generate it so for this the first block is lpf okay so through lpf what we are going to give modulating signal and this is xt so we are going to give through lpf okay and then we are going to give this input through comparator so this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal and this output is pwm output okay and this is the negative terminal here i'll explain you what is that this thing and this i am going to give it through sawtooth generator okay and let us say it is sampling and it is ct okay so we have used the um, comparator in it okay so this is known as comparator okay now i'll explain you what is the function of the comparator so first of all you need to you need to remember comparator has two terminals okay the first one is non inverting the non inverting terminal and the second terminal is inverting terminal so non inverting is the positive terminal and inverting terminal is negative terminal so sorry where is that okay sorry yeah so look look at this one positive and another one is negative so this is your comparator two terminals one is positive one is negative positive one is the non inverting and neg uh, inverting is the negative one okay now the second point inverting terminal has inverting terminal has sawtooth generator and non inverting non inverting terminal is connected to low pass filter okay look here inverting terminal inverting terminal is this one it is connected to sawtooth generator this is sawtooth generator and the positive one this positive one is connected to lpf okay low pass filter now what is the function of sawtooth generator a sawtooth generator sawtooth generator generates a sawtooth signal of frequency fs okay this is a sampling signal in this case it is applied to inverting terminal of it is applied to inverting terminal of comparator okay so what what does a sawtooth generator does it it generates a sawtooth signal of frequency fs okay this sawtooth signal sawtooth signal is basically like this saw saw means what the blade you you know that saw it is used in gardening and something else so saw means like this so it generates a waveform like this okay 
So this will create a waveform like this. The, and this is a sampling signal in this case. It is applied to inverting terminal of comparator. And this is the sampling signal that is FS or the, or you can say the carrier signal. Okay. Now, next point is modulating signal. Modulating signal. What is the modulating signal? XT. Okay. Is applied to non-inverting terminal terminal of same comparator okay so you can see the figure again there are positive there are negative so negative is connected to the sorted generator that means a carrier wave will be given to this negative terminal that means the inverting terminal and the modulating signal this xt XT is applied to the positive. Positive means the non-inverting terminal of the comparator. Okay. Now, the comparator output. The comparator output will remain high as long as the instantaneous amplitude of xt is greater than ramp signal okay so suppose this is the comparator here so this is the comparator i'm just making so at this positive xt is given and at this negative ct is given okay so output high means when xt will be greater than ct and output low equals to when xt will be less than ct so you need to remember these okay now so these are the points you need to remember. So first, when you do the explanation of this one, you need to just remember the first one, the first, the first block is LPF, low pass filter, which is given to the positive terminal of the comparator. Second block is sort of generator, which is given to the negative terminal of the comparator. Okay, this is the first point. This sort of generator generates a ramp signal or the carrier signal, which is in this form, right? Which is in this form. And this xt is gone to the plus signal okay this is the explanation and remember when xt is greater than ct then output will be high when xt is less than ct output will be less okay now make the waveforms okay suppose how to make these waveforms suppose this is the modulating signal Mm, like this okay this is your modulating signal now the the carrier signal is applied to it okay so let us say let us say this is the mm okay so this is the basically the carrier signal okay so let us mark this one is the carrier signal okay or you can say this is the sawtooth sawtooth waveform or you can say this is the sampling signal you can use any name okay and this one is the modulating signal that means this is your xt and this is your ct so your xt and ct is done and now i need to make the output the pwm output okay so wherever or which point 
these are intersecting each other okay this point like this the another point will be like this one okay and on this waveform on this waveform we have make and on this waveform here okay so wherever it is it is just cutting so you you can make a output here okay like this so like this okay so this is your pwm output you can see in this output the width is not constant here the width is more here the width is less here it is bit medium width so so pwm means width is changing okay so this is your pwm output so basically remember as amplitude of xt increases the width of pwm signal will increase as amplitude of xt decreases width of pwm signal will decrease okay amplitude amplitude okay so we you need to remember when the width is increase when the width is decrease leading edges of pwm waveform coincide with the falling edges of ram signal so this is basically the uh, how to generate the pwm so you can see the pwm is generated with this one thank you